end. Play action. Ewers has plenty of time. Scans and checks it down to the tight end. Jatavion Sanders. The ball comes out. A scramble for it. And it. Ewers on the move. Flips it short. Catch made. First down converted. That Sanders knocked out at the five. The gamble pays off. Yeah, it's great. Ewers looking that direction. Hit as he throws, but it's complete across the middle. And it is big Jatavian Sanders making an impact here in the first half. He's out. Two back look. Ewers back to throw. Flips it across the middle, and it's incomplete. Low throw. Sanders couldn't get down for it. And now the clock stops again. Corner. Great job. Goes at their best DV. Ewers. Oh, they stuck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Oh. Just stumbled down for Alabama. Ewers still has it and finds his tight end. Sanders, big man, rumbling free, gets a block. Stiff arm, lowers the shoulder. Ewers on third down and long, short pass, going to hit Sanders, the tight end. He's got blockers out there, and it looks like he's got a first down at the 47-yard line. What? Threw a couple picks in that game. Yours with time ball batted in the air incomplete Gabe Hall again we mentioned how important he is to that Baylor defense as a fullback sneaks out on the play action easy first down Yours gets rid of it quickly to Sanders and there was a defender in the area as Sanders gets belted out of bounds shifting back tight to the line on the left side and this may be a double pass worthy setting up and he's got Sanders downfield Sanders catches up to it makes the grab inside the 10 Quick change. That single coverage bottom of your screen. Instead, the ball going down the seam, and it's overthrown by yours. Sanders had two defenders on him. Workout transferred back to Texas. He grew up in South Lake. Throws to the sideline here. It's caught by Sanders and out of bounds. And that was the other thing Sark said. One of the reasons he's grown up yeah, for the Baylor offense in general, but specifically Sawyer Robertson. Ewers downfield. What a grab! One hand. Jatavion Sanders is loose, stiff arming at the 25. Ewers to the end zone, overthrown, trying to hit Sanders. Good coverage that time by Baylor. Four first round picks, and he says Banks will be another. Ewers under a blitz, got it off. Jatavion Sanders chopped down at the 11 yard line. Got to get something going on offense or defense needs a rest on third and two the catch is made by Sanders who's back out there Toughing it out and big number zero moves the stick As uh, Murphy's in trouble here gets rid of it his arm is hit he floats that one And it's still caught by Jatavion Sanders despite Murphy dumps it off Sanders down at the one what a great play out in space by B1 really been close to Murphy other than on that turnover where he had the force fumble. He has all day to throw here and finds Sanders for a first down grab at the BYU 35. Dump in Utah right now. First down outside the 10. Murphy to throw, backing up, lobs into the end zone, and it's tipped and incomplete. Getting a hand on it was Wakely, Gunner Helm. Ewers. Rolling out, side earns it complete to the tight end to Tavion Sanders, who hurdles. A TCU defender stepping out of bounds at the 30 down. And Ewers back to throw. To the sideline again, through the hands of Jatavion Sanders. And Hodges coming after him. Ewers pass over the middle. Oh, nice catch by Sanders for a first down. Had he not made that catch, Mark Worthy already right at 100 yards on the day receiving. Play fake, setting up Ewers, lobbing it for Sanders. And he makes the catch before getting knocked down at the 20-yard line. That they're not eligible for postseason play. And Ewers going to throw it on first down. Hits Chatavion Sanders. Nice open field tackle by Bradford after a gain of about three. Again, it is the best third and long defense in the Big 12 this year. Ewers over the middle, the great tight end Jatavion Sanders, his first grab. Three out of four. Instead, he decided to come to Iowa State where his father and brother went as Quinn Ewers flicks this out at Jatavion Sanders, and that's one of those arm angles from yep. Ewers. And they're in the open space. He was hurt last week. They weren't sure early in the week whether he would play, and they weren't sure about 
Jatavion Sanders either. He got hurt in the win against Iowa State last week. Six of six for Ewers. Going to work again. That time overthrows Jatavion Sanders and pressure in his face. Obviously, Texas still a chance to get in the college football playoff. No team has ever made it with two losses. Ewers in trouble. Flips it downfield. And what a catch by Sanders. What a throw, too. By Quinn Ewers under pressure. And this might be a double pass. It is worthy. And it should have been picked off. It was dropped on the goal line. Malik Dunlap. Without Jordan Travis, Florida State. But I, I personally think Florida State's going to be just fine without him. There's Jatavion Sanders, pushed out of bounds after a gain of about four. Iron Bowl. Our head coach at the University of Washington for five years, his first head coaching job. Jatavion Sanders dropped immediately. A six out of 15. Very accurate passer ordinarily. He's on target there. Jatavion Sanders, first down of the Washington 47. He's been out game 306 to 173. But the muff punt help. There's Sanders again lunging for the line to gain. It looks like they're going to give it to him. Arch's hometown. But, uh, he might get in the game at some point. To Tavion Sanders to catch. It was Corey, his hometown. And Ewers had other media availabilities during the week. But still, it was an odd scene. Here's Sanders. Nice run after the catch. Ewers has rushed for 46 yards. They average 6.6 .6 per carry. He lost it for Sanders. Caught 31-yard line by Washington. Statistically, one of the worst pass defenses in the country in the regular season. The throw too quick. Sanders hadn't turned to see the ball. It's his release. Down the middle again. Sanders didn't seem to know that the ball was coming in his direction. Dominique Hampton was running in coverage.